So guys, I am back with another Dead Island 2 video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get your hands on one of, if not the most powerful weapons in this game. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we all know about the Peggy. The Peggy is an absolute monster of a weapon, one of the best in this game. Uh, well guys... There's also another weapon you can get which spawns in at certain vendors which is on par if not better than Peggy. Now, I do want to give credit to my pal on my Discord Drift 2.0 for letting me know about this. Uh, without him I'd have absolute no idea. Okay so the first vendor you want to check out is uh, Ezekiel. He's located right here within the pier. Area Santa Monica. He is the vendor. If you progress to uh, the game's main campaign story, he will eventually become a vendor right here. This is the weapon you are looking for. It's a damaging hunting rifle. Now, what's special about this is, and you may have seen a few hunting rifles at certain vendors, but you want the damaging one. This has that perk of high impact increases force built in. This is what you want guys, this also comes with that damaging perk and air trigger too, but we can change that, but it's locked in perk, is that high impact increases force. This thing is absolutely brutal. So I'm just going to purchase it right here guys, uh, but if you come here and he doesn't have this, what you want to do is, which is probably the best thing you can do is, is quit out to the main menu, then load back in, he will reset his loot. Or you can fast travel to a different area, not within the PR world. There's only one uh, uh, thing here. But if you tra fast travel, say, to the Metro or Venice Beach or Hollywood Boulevard and come back, he should have reset his uh, loot or his, his, his stock. But for me, quitting to the main menu and coming back is much, much better. Now, once you have this weapon, guys, what you want to put on it is basically what I've got on my... <laughs> my Peggy probably change it up a bit. I mean, it's dependent on what you have here. So here, you obviously want to put on superior range mutilator mod. That's what you want on this bad boy. There's no two which ways about that. So put that on. Make sure you have uh, the right things on it. You want to put on honed as well. Forget where well, you want to keep damaging. Keep that there. You want to put on honed, which is this thing right here. My, sorry, that's the wrong one. <laughs> you want to put this one right here because I don't see this one here. Yeah, hair trigger increases fire rate but reduces accuracy. Forget that. Put this on. Ba ba ba. I see it drops its power. But don't matter. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. And then, guys, you want to put on high caliber, which is this one right here, which I can't put on because I need that gunpowder. Give me a second. I'm gonna go get gunpowder. And I'll come back. Okay, so we have that gunpowder. <laughs> Why to travel for that? Okay, so let's go back to my baby. This one right here. And we want to put on it, guys, the high caliber. Increases damage and force, but reduces magazine size and accuracy. Don't worry about this, people. You want to put this on. Simple as that. Now, guys, we have a weapon of damage of 4,600 and when we compare that to my Peggy it's slightly more I know my Peggy's got bloodthirsty on it I could probably put high caliber on this too which I think actually built in is it not let me have a look let's quickly have a look people there it is it's built in so yes you can't really do that I'll put bloodthirsty on my Peggy which is, I mean there's many things you can do but yes like I said this is slightly better than the Peggy uh, it's slightly more powerful it's definitely one of the best I've seen in the game, like I said. And again, guys, if you want to get this thing, you want to come to Ezekiel within the PA area. But there's also another vendor which can also have this. You want to come to Venice Beach, you want to go to the tower. Now, I think you will have to complete a quest for her before she starts being a vendor for you. But yes, this is the vendor, again, that can sell this weapon. But you want to look for that high caliber built in. And also, you know what I mean, people. You know what I mean, people. You know the weapon to look for. But she's up here. And here she is. You see, she hasn't got it now. But again, if she hasn't, quit out the game, guys. Come back in. It's up to you. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of what this weapon can do. That will do. Now, quick shots on this thing. Obviously, aiming down sights. Boom! We'll do more damage. Look at that one there. 19k, people. How do I miss? 19k people now if you quickly go into your inventory you'll see that it actually 
it raises up. Now, the more the more damage you get with this thing, the more crit shots obviously increases crit shots, making enemies weaker, this, that, and the other. It will increase your damage. You'll notice that when you go in and check. But yes, it's capable of some absolute filthy stuff. Boom! Quick scope! Quick scope! Bitches! Quick scope, you as well. Oh, it's locked on that aim assist then! The aim assist then! <laughs> this thing's got some range, man. No scope, quick scope, headshot. The aim assist is. The, look at that. I'm not even changing. I'm not even moving that, people. That's some crazy aim assist. Boom! Yeah, this weapon's great. But yes, guys, go and get this thing. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave an and If you like, quite see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.